Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Sephora haul. So this is kind of like a collective haul of just some things that have caught my eye in these past couple months. And I've been like saving them to make videos, but then I was like, I might as well just haul them. So you guys know what's coming in to my collection. Um, this is a heavy bag. I went a little crazy on some things, uh, but it's not all makeup, so yeah, let's just get into this. It's very hot out, and I had to turn the fan off to film because it's way too loud, so I hope I can get through this without like melting on camera. <clears throat> um, we do have some eyeshadow palettes, but I think I'll save those till the end. Okay, so first of all, I went a little crazy. Well, not really with my... Actually, there's some things that aren't even in this bag, which I need to go get. Okay, so we'll start with the shampoo and conditioner. Well, the first one. <laughs> the first set that I bought. So I've been having like an issue ever since I cut and colored my hair. I don't know if... It's just because I'm trying to like style it more now than I was before when it was like down to my butt. <laughs> I would just like put it in a bun or something. Um, and now like I have layers and today I had to wear it up because it's way too hot. And I've been trying to wear it down to make it do something fun. But it's very like bouncy <laughs> and like I'm pretty sure my hair is supposed to be curly, like naturally, but throughout the years, like I've, you know, straightened it and I've always tried to not make it curly. So it's a weird texture. And lately I find like, I don't know how to explain this. If anyone knows about hair care or like the science behind it, please let me know. But it's almost like every time I wash my hair, even though I work super hard to rinse everything out, there's always like a film on my hair and I don't know what the issue is. So I thought maybe it was my shampoo and conditioner that I'm using now, which is like an essential oil based shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I'm like, let me try something new and see if it helps. So long story short, I got the Briogeo Superfoods Banana and Coconut Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. These two came in a set and first of all I love the smell of banana and coconut so together this just smells wonderful <laughs> to me. And I also got this because Briogeo is like a, a brand that doesn't have sulfates, silicones, and parabens. So I was thinking maybe my hair has like a silicone buildup. I don't know, because it's not oily. It's like, you could feel, it's almost like it feels like there's product in it, but I don't use product in my hair. Anyway, super weird. So let me know if you know anything about that, but I do love the smell of these products. Oh my God, it's amazing. So far I like them, but I'm still having the issue with the, my hair feeling like there's, I don't know, something on the surface. But I loved the smell of this so much. I was like, I want to smell like this like throughout the day. So I was like, I wonder if they have a styling product in the same line, and they do. This is the Banana Coconut Soft Wave Texture Spray, and I have used this once already, and it does exactly what it says i think i got this because it said it was for like damp or dry hair yeah it says spray throughout damp or dry hair scrunch or twist the hair to enhance wave and it does actually enhance my wave also so yeah i'm really well i've only used this once but i liked it <laughs> when i used it but i need to figure out what the issue is with the buildup um, so that being said, I went to Sephora, well I don't want to spoil the palette section of this video, but I, I went to like a far away, well a further away Sephora because they had a palette I wanted, 
was the last one in stock like in all the stores around my region so I got the last one but while I was there I also wanted to take advantage of the sale on the Olaplex products so if you guys didn't know I actually checked this morning and Olaplex is still I believe it's 50% off um, so I don't know what's going on I thought it was going to be like a few days only but it's still going so I bought the another shampoo and conditioner just to see um, you know what I said earlier about the whole story about my hair but also because I've heard really great things about this brand I just got the minis I got the number four bond maintenance shampoo and the number five bond maintenance conditioner so the shampoo says it repairs strengthens and nourishes all hair types I don't think I have damaged hair because I mean I've just colored it but that was the first time I colored my hair and like since college um, and I live in Quebec so that was like a long long time ago because we go to college right like we don't have grade 12 we go from grade 11 to college and then university anyway so it was a long time ago <laughs> um, yeah so and I don't heat style my hair so how could it be damaged right so anyway but I still got this because it says it nourishes so I want to smell this actually I didn't even open this yet let's hope it opens easily oh, okay it doesn't really have that much of a scent it's very subtle okay I like that I was kind of worried it would smell like I don't know salon hair care when there's not like a coconut or you know a fruity scent in it but it smells nice and yeah the conditioner so these are minis I still feel like they're pretty big like if I were to travel with these they would take up a lot of room in my travel bag but yeah that's kind of also why I got these because I'm running very low on my current travel shampoo and conditioner so I thought I would try those out and then right next to those two products I saw this the Whey Detox Shampoo for all hair types this is also a mini size this wasn't on sale but it's just a mini that was in the Isle of Doom so I had to get it because I'm gonna also try this to see if for some reason I don't know I have a buildup of some sort in my hair although I don't know what it would be because I never style my hair but yeah so I got this this was on my loves list so I must have heard somebody at some point say it was really good um, this says been on a dry shampoo binge time for a detox this concentrated shampoo with apple cider vinegar will deeply cleanse away dirt oil and impurities so I'm very excited about this I'm just gonna smell it okay this has like that shampoo smell but it's not you know overpowering or anything but yeah let's see if this helps <laughs> so that was like my hair care binge I don't know what went on but I like rarely buy hair products but now I have all that let's just move on oh should we just talk about these little random things first um, Oh, I have some samples here. Polish Choice just came to Sephora Canada and this is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I've been hearing about this for years, like since I started watching YouTube, people have been raving about this. I do have a Polish Choice toner from a boxy pop-up sale at some point. It's actually the toner I'm going to be opening next because it's getting really old, but I've never tried this. It's for all skin types. It says unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores, smooths and even skin tone, lightweight liquid, absorbs quickly. It's just a, you know, a packet sample, but I thought I would try that. And this I think was a, an offer. So like the ones where you have to enter a code, but not for points or anything. It's from Jisoo. So the brand that I bought the 
the lip oil from. This is the Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. And I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's this little thing. But it's still really cute. And I do already own some leave-in conditioners, but I really wanted to try this. It's just a little 12 milliliter sample. Um, but yeah, I have this to try. Another offer I got, so you can see how many separate orders this really was. This was another, yeah, like I just said, an offer that you enter a code for. And this is a product that's on my love list loves list the cali ray surf proof setting spray but you guys might know i'm on a setting spray no buy so i kind of like snuck this in because <laughs> i didn't actually buy it right like, it was free but look at this like this is a nice sample this is 15 milliliters so yeah i really wanted to try this because i've heard really good things about this as well it's a clean, hydrating, and long wear setting spray. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, and while I was at the cash, um, they were having some kind of, like, promo. They were having some kind of, I don't know, promo, I guess, but it wasn't a sale. On the Sephora brand, like, little mask things. And the girl was like, oh, have you tried these? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like I have like a billion Sephora like face masks and all that stuff but I never tried this the um, pomegranate eye mask and I liked it because it said anti-fatigue I don't have dark circles but it also says anti-dark circle but I liked the anti-fatigue part of it because sometimes my eyes feel like sometimes I just feel like my eyes are tired and just putting like something nice and like cold under them really helps so I thought this would be good and the girl was like oh and put it in the fridge and it will be amazing and she really sold me on this she was a really good salesperson <laughs> so I put I threw this in when I was at the cash anyway let's get on to some more exciting things well, this is going to give away a video that I'm planning, but it's not going to be like groundbreaking or anything, so I'll just tell you. I have um, really been intrigued by the latest launches from Give Beauty. So it's, you know, this GXVE, Gwen Stefani's brand. And I thought I would do a video, like with all the things, because I have, I've been accumulating things like... For a while now so i almost have like a full face of give beauty so what do i start with i guess i'll just show you this first this is the check my glow multi-dimensional illuminating highlighter and at first i was like i don't need that that looks like the physician's formula warm nude highlighter that i already own but i couldn't resist look at the packaging is so cute and this is the highlighter so I'll just show you the physician's formula one I just had to move the camera a little to get this out of my drawer but this is what I was talking about um, the physician's formula warm nude what's this called like a shimmer shimmer strips or something I don't know, but it came like this and it's the same type of thing where it's all like a grid of different shades. But this one goes from like light to deeper because it's meant to be like something you can use as a whole face palette. But this one from Give Beauty is really just like highlighter shades. Like if you scroll those out together, um, it would, well, let's just see, I'll just... I haven't even touched this yet. <laughs> yeah, so that is, you know, a highlighter shade. Even if you focused on just like the pink squares, it's still going to be very highlighty. And that's how it looks. So I thought this would be really nice. And I heard that it's not like super blinding or anything. Although I don't mind like intense highlighters. But I kind of just like the sound of this one. And it has like that kind of pinky tone that I like 
This is the shade Platinum Cowgirl, by the way. I think this is the lightest of the ones she came out with. So I'm excited to try that. Let me just swatch the Physician's Formula. Not that I ever, when I use this, I don't mix the whole thing together, but let's just see. Oh yeah, see how much deeper that one is. Yeah, so they're not dupes or anything. So while I was on my Give Beauty um, kick, I guess you'd say, <laughs> I also got the Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This one was mostly um, a Makeup by Cheryl influenced purchase. Look how cute this one is, the packaging. I love it. Way cuter than the eyeshadow palettes, which were like super plain, I thought, and looked like kind of DIY'd. But this is the shade, I have to say, this has a strong fragrance for some reason. It almost reminds me of the Too Faced Sun Sunset Stripped palette, if you know, if you have that palette. You know, there's like a perfume scent to it. For some reason, this has that. I don't know why, because it's a bronzer and a contour. <laughs> but anyway, I got the shade Toastin. This is actually not the lightest shade, but the light one, the powder looked extremely light, so. I thought this would be better, although this kind of looks quite deep to me right now. Let's see. Oh, that's very soft, but it could also be because it's like 35 degrees in here. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. I'm sure like if I blend it out, it's not going to be too deep. So that's the cream and the powder. Ooh, it's very soft powders a bit lighter so I read like how to use on that and it said like obviously use the cream as the contour shade and then with a big fluffy brush go over it with the powder so that's how I plan to use those and I'll be using that in that video and we'll see how it goes and then the last thing from Give Beauty from this Sephora haul I got the Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Lip Gloss. Um, she has tons of lip products, like basically every formula you can think of, but I didn't. I wasn't really intrigued by any of the shades of those products, and I already have so many red lipsticks, as you might know, so I did not need any more reds. But this shade caught my eye. This is called Electric Pansy. And I haven't tried this yet, but I smelled it. This smells so good. It smells like custard. Like, yeah, or like pudding. I don't know. I love how it smells. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about the formula, formula yet, but I'll be trying that as well. So yeah, I'm very excited about these products and yeah, finally Give Beauty caught my eye, so I'll be trying those out. And then I broke one of my no-buys <laughs> because I bought a cream blush from Makeup by Mario, the shade Just Peachy. These are the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veils. I just heard such good things about these. I think this was another like Makeup by Cheryl influenced purchase. Um, and when I saw the shade of this in store, I was like, okay, I'm getting it. I don't feel like I have another cream blush. Oh yeah, this is hard to open. Like, I, I don't want to break a nail. So that's the shade. Oops, I feel like I don't have another cream blush in this shade, um, as far as I know. <laughs> so that was how I allowed myself to purchase this one. And yeah, I just love how it looks. Let's swatch this one too. Ooh, that feels very like dewy. That's the shade. In person, it looks more like a bright peach and it looks kind of nude on camera, but I'm excited about this too. Not that I needed another cream blush, but 
whatever. I found like when I'm on no buys, it's because like it's a category I have way too much of, but I have so much of it because it's my favorite category. So if I'm on a no buy of my favorite things, I feel like I'm not as excited about makeup. So <laughs> whatever, I just, you know, I had to get that and I don't feel bad about it. And the last non-palette item <sighs> was this from Charlotte Tilbury. This glossy nude pink lip duo. These are new and there's only two different ones. I got the one that's called, I thought these had names, no? Like there's like a nude pink and a fresh pink or something. And I don't know, but this is the nude pink one, right? Anyway, so it's just two minis. It's a lip liner in the shade, well, her, her lip liners are called the Lip Cheats in the shade Iconic Nude, which I've heard great things about, and the Collagen Lip Bath in the shade Pillow Talk. So I did, had to get this because I've been loving lately a nude lip liner with a gloss over top, like a nude gloss, and I just thought this would be the perfect combo. Plus I've been wanting to try the Iconic Nude lip cheat which is this one here and i don't own the collagen lip bath in any other um shade so i thought this was a good one to get because normally when she does these little mini lip things it's always like pillow talk lipstick and i don't want that <laughs> so i really wanted to try these though it's the one that has like a heart um, shape applicator and it smells exactly like the Marc Jacobs lip gloss if you know that smell like that minty smell so that's the combo I feel like this will be super pretty and like you know great for every day or any kind of look and I'm very excited about this I've also heard really good things about the collagen lip bath so yeah, I thought this was a fun little set. Plus, I love that it's minis because we all know I don't need any more full-size lip products. <laughs> this was another thing I wasn't sure if I was going to purchase, but then I saw it in the Isle of Doom. So, that's how it goes. So, now we're on to eyeshadow palettes. I have four <laughs> new eyeshadow palettes. I did just film recently my eyeshadow palette collection videos. Um, you might have seen those because they're going like viral, at least in, you know, for me compared to my other videos. Um, and I've been loving eyeshadow lately. Like, I always think about my eyeshadows. I like just looking at them and like imagining looks that I can do. So, I don't know. I'm just on an eyeshadow kick. So I guess we'll start with the one I bought first, which was actually the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. A palette I never thought I would own because of the price, mostly. <laughs> but um, some of you may know, unfortunately, Natasha Denona is getting out of Sephora Canada, which means the only way we can buy it is from her website. And I do not want to buy from her website because it's in American currency. Sorry, like USD. <laughs> and there's going to be shipping and probably duties and customs. Whereas I could have got it from Sephora in like a day with free shipping. So I'm very, I'm really not happy <laughs> about that. Especially because I really want the Yuka palette. So I'll have to get that one if I go to Ulta at some point. But... Because they're getting out of Sephora Canada, a lot of her products are on sale, which I guess is the upside to all of this. So I got this one because this is a palette I've been dreaming about basically since I've known about it. I love the color story. I feel like it's so versatile. You can do a lot of different looks with this, but I also love that there's those neutral shades and those matte brown shades that I like to ground my looks with. 
So I'm very excited about this. I will, I have to tell you a story about this palette though. Um, I, this is the second one I received from Sephora. The first one I got, I feel like someone threw it on the floor and stole the shadows out of it and put it back in the box and returned it and someone at Sephora didn't even look at it and sent it to somebody else, which was me. Because when I got that palette, it was all scratched up and when I opened it, there was two shades missing and I'm pretty sure it was the two greens. Um, so clearly someone like took them out and then returned the palette. But I would need to know what's going on <laughs> at Sephora or like the warehouse where they ship things from. Like are you guys even check- not that they're gonna wa be watching this video. <laughs> but are they even checking like when people return things if they're in condition to be sent to other people? Because I thought when people return makeup like you have to get rid of it. I don't know, I'm very confused. So I took pictures of it and everything and normally I'm not even like this, like I'll let things go, but for the price of this palette and the two green shades that are like the stars of the palette being missing, I was like, no, no, I need a new palette. <laughs> so I sent them pictures, it was super easy. I just, you know, used the app to talk to customer service and they didn't even ask me any questions. They're like, oh, we'll ship a new one right now. Um, so, but they did ask me to send back the other one, which, I mean, hopefully they're not gonna be sending it to somebody else now. I mean, that's weird. And that's not the first time. Actually, it's, I wanna say like half the time I order from Sephora online, there is a product that looks like somebody touched it. And I'm really starting to get concerned. <laughs> so I thought I would just share that story with you. I don't know if that's like a Sephora Canada specific issue. Let me know if you've had something weird like that. Because yeah, it's starting to get a little concerning. But anyway, I'm happy. I finally had this and it's in good condition. And I'm going to put it with my other Natasha Denona palettes. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, I think this next one I got was the this one, the Tarte Big Ego. I did not think I'd be buying a Tarte palette, to be honest, but this one did something to me. I'm not sure what it was, but I saw it in the store and I it made me like stop in my tracks. So <laughs> this is the packaging. It's very much like the Tartlet and or the Tartlet or the Tartlet and Bloom palettes with this like I don't know water colory kind of thing. It's a nice like hard plastic and it's this format which I well I was gonna say I've been loving but so it's the same format as their holiday palettes which I also own and I haven't used them yet <laughs> so. I, can't, I really can't say that I love them based on the formula or how they perform, but I love just how the aesthetic is. But also, the way these shades look, like, I feel like because I've been trying so many different palettes lately and, like, I have palettes and projects and everything and I'm always rotating, I have started to notice, like, I can look at a shade and know like, oh, that's going to perform like this on the eye. So when I saw this row particularly, <clears throat> these like super shiny, almost wet looking shadows, I just know I'm going to love them. So, and when I was in store, I did swatch probably the two like most like eye catching shades which is this like silver here. Look at that. It's so like shiny, it's not focusing. <laughs> and this shade here, no, sorry, this one. Achieve, it's like almost like a duochrome, I wanna say. So let me swatch those. Oh my, look at this. Oh my God. And then Achieve. Oh my God. 
So these remind me of the shimmers in the new, no, in the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette. Um, how they just look like creams almost. Look at this. This is almost a pressed glitter. So if you really don't like that, maybe steer away. Although it's the only shade in the palette with that texture. But it's really like, um, it's going to stick down. And when you blend it out, it's almost like a metallic. But it just has that feeling of like a flaky glitter. But I just love it. And then this shade... What did I say? Achieve? Look at this. These are Tarte shadows. What's going on, right? <laughs> so I think this new format of the Tarte palettes where they have like kind of like those square pens, they're doing something good with the formula. Um, so I had to get this one to be honest. Let's see this visionary. And these feel so soft. Nice. Look at this one. Okay, I'm very excited about this. So, honestly, if I hadn't walked by this and swatched it in store, I wouldn't have thought twice about it because I feel like the pictures online don't do it justice. Like, it does not look like that great in the promo photos. But in person, I just loved how this looked and it had to come home with me. And then this is the palette I went to the Faraway Sephora to get. And it's because it was on sale. The Huda Beauty Naughty palette. So when I filmed my eyeshadow palette collection, I was like, oh, I don't own that other palette. And I couldn't think of the name. It was this one. And if it wasn't on sale, I would not have got it. I was going to say probably, but no, I wouldn't have. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but... Huda Beauty palettes are now $90 Canadian, which like, what's going on? Does she think she's Pat McGrath? Like, what's happening? <laughs> um, but this was 50% off, which I guess is why it was out of stock everywhere. So it was out of stock online and in every Sephora around me except for this one. So, I, and when I got there, it was the last one on the shelf. So I got lucky. <laughs> And I got probably the last one in like my whole region. Let's open this. Do I think this is unique? No. I'm trying to wait for the planes to go by because I have the window open. But it's every like five minutes. So, and I have to keep filming or I'll melt. <laughs> so this is the packaging. It's not my favorite packaging from her. This feels like a puffy sticker on top. Um, but whatever. It's really the shades and the formula that I get the Huda Beauty palettes for. And this is the palette, which you might have seen before because this is not new. And these are not super unique shades, really in general. But also compared to other Huda Beauty palettes, she loves to do these like... I don't know, burgundy, mauvey, rosy tones all the time. But I feel like w when I compared this, and I didn't, like, I didn't like impulse buy this. I wasn't like, oh, I need it right now. I did do like a little research and I compared it to the other palettes from Huda Beauty that I own. And I felt it was different enough. Like when you look at them, as color stories, of course, when you look at the shades by themselves, nothing special, like nothing unique, but I don't know. I feel like I had a place for this in my collection. So I'm very excited that I now basically completed my collection of all of the like palettes from Huda and this packaging, like the acrylic packaging. So yeah. I'm very excited about this. I feel like this is more of a fall palette, so I'm not like super excited to reach into it right now, but I'm happy that I have this one too. And then the last palette I bought, I had to get this one, the Anastasia Cosmos palette. So I saw 
kind of mixed reviews on this one. I think Patty Alonso really loved it, but Makeup by Cheryl didn't so much. But I still wanted to try it for myself. And yes, my uh, super cluster shade came broken. Apparently that's been happening to like almost everybody that buys this palette online. So I'm not going to blame Sephora Canada <laughs> for that one. But I don't know. I, would, I was thinking of getting this exchanged. But like... I don't know it's such a hassle um but it is really broken but you like it's so dry like you can just see there's not enough bonding agent so i don't know what they were thinking with that maybe that's why this palette is like always in and out of stock because people keep returning <laughs> or i don't know or they've realized there's an issue with that shade but so i'm trying to show you without making that fall out everywhere but I just thought this would be really nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you exchange this because there's one broken shade? Because it was kind of pricey. I don't know. And can you exchange in store when you've bought it online? I don't remember. Aside from that, I think I'm really excited to have this. I don't know what to do about that shade, to be honest. Because now that I'm touching it, Mm, I kind of could press it back in, I think. But, and that looks like the funnest shade in the palette too, which is kind of, you know, sad. Oh, there it is. So it looks super blue in the pan, but that's what it looks like when you blend it out. Oh, it looks so nice though. It almost looks wet, right? Okay, that's exciting. Let's swatch Supernova. Oh, yes. What? What? <laughs> Is this a duochrome? Because when I look at it on my hand, it's like, like an ultraviolet. But when I show it to you on camera, you can barely see it. That's so weird. Okay, but anyway, there's that shade. And Orion. Sorry I'm not showing you as I'm swatching, but I really don't want that shade to fall out everywhere because I'll be really sad about it. Oh, that's Orion. It kind of looks similar to that Tarte shadow I just swatched. But yeah, I don't know. I'm very into this like cosmic trend. I don't know. I thought that was already done with but I guess <laughs> brands are bringing it back but I love that like the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde like those like pastel shimmers I feel like that's very trending right now and I love it because I love light shimmery looks so yeah that's up my alley I'm just kind of disappointed that that shade broke but I did know that like when I watched Makeup by Cheryl's video, the same thing happened to her. I can't remember, did she have a new one? I don't know if she said she was getting a new one or not, but her shade was broken and she said in that video that she had a bunch of comments from people saying theirs was broken too. So just a warning, if you really want this palette, maybe wait till it's in store. I don't know if it's in stock right now. If it is, try to get it in store rather than shipping like getting it shipped because I honestly don't know how that shade like passed testing <laughs> for shipping because it's super dry and crumbly I don't know how it's supposed to stay in the pan but yeah I'm still excited about this I did see the cosmic crush is that what it's called the new palette from Too Faced <sighs> I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna have to like maybe calm down on the palettes. I did declutter a few palettes though, so I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna buy things that I wanna buy and that make me excited and that's that. <laughs> anyway, that is everything for this video. I think it was pretty long. Um, yeah, so 
like I said, I'll be doing that video on the Give Beauty products. I have some other things that I found at Marshalls actually. So that's why they weren't in this video. And I think I also want to do a Tarte video because Tarte used to be my favorite brand before I started watching YouTube. Like Tarte was the only brand I knew about. I don't know how I knew about them, but I had like some Tarte holiday sets, I think. And I don't know, everything they, they had, the whole like brand vibe really intrigued me. And then I felt like they've been super boring for a couple of years and now they're catching my eye again. So I might do a video on that too. So let me know if you guys are intrigued by this palette. I know they have some other new products, but I don't need them right now. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this collective haul. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.